Hey, what's up, Phantom Fam? How is everyone doing? And today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the SPA Air, the new version 6. This is the men's version, so they have a separate for men's and women's open face helmet on this channel. The first one, roll the intro. In slow So welcome back guys. So as you can see, I've received another helmet from SBA and this time they wanted me to review an open face helmet because they uh, statistically uh, open face helmets are the most popular ones. If you go to see around uh, internationally, you know, they could be flip up ones or just uh, half face ones. And uh, they apparently have a new addition to the air series which you already know uh, boasts about the most number of air vents so quickly let me just pull this out of the box the box is pretty ordinary to look at which is fine because what matters inside here now it was inside its own cover but i've already taken it out and as you can see it's a red color helmet, uh, matte red. I wanted a matte red because I have a scooter and I think mostly these helmets are for city rides. So let me just keep this aside. Let's see what else is in the box. And you get this. It's the helmet uh, air vent covers. So this is a pretty interesting thing from uh, SBA. It could go either ways, but uh, without further ado, let's uh, jump into the helmet. Oops. <laughs> Anyways, so guys, as you can see, let me just, this is the SBA 6 helmet. Men's version is called Fuse noted by a separate uh, sticker over there plus uh, as you can see the interiors are totally black I don't know if I can bring this light closer now can you see uh, it's got very good interiors it's better than the last SBA helmet that I uh, had reviewed and I guess that's based on the feedback it's got this uh, European strap let me pull this thing out all right, so it's got the micrometric buckle right here, which is good, which is really convenient in the city. Mostly guys, this helmet will be worn uh, around city rides. So if you're doing any sort of high speed uh, highway riding or cruising, uh, cruising, I don't know, uh, but it's, it's totally up to you. Uh, so this helmet is meant for city riding office commutes as such. This helmet has been designed by a new company called X-Tech uh, from Italy. So that's the design house uh, who worked with uh, Steelbird. The biggest USP is the number of air vents. Do you guys want to guess the number of air vents on this helmet? Okay, let me just jump in. So it's got two, two, four on this side. It's got another four on this side. These are vents. Plus you got this actuated opening and closing center vent which has uh, if I'm not uh, mistaken it's got two modes to it then it's got another two and two so four exhaust exhaust ports and eight nine intake ports that's a huge number of air vents and uh, trust me you're gonna feel the air rushing through your uh, hair or your head when you're riding in on a hot summer day. Uh, also, they made removing the visor easier now. So there are no screws. Uh, this is just a thumb actuated one in case you wanna just wear the half face helmet. I asked them to send me the tinted uh, black visor. You have a choice of different visors as well. And this is also pretty good. I mean, the. The fit and finish and quality of this is so much better. I've not seen a, a visor cover on so many of these budget uh, helmets from India. Now let me just take this off. 
And you know, this is the best part of getting any helmet, by the way. It's an anti-scratch visor. There you go. Whoa, look at that. Black and red, looks so cool. Now let me just wear it. I'll just show it. Pretty cool. For, for women, they have, uh, the only difference is you, uh, the graphics, you get some graphics. Plus you get the, the interior is different. It's, it's got graphics on the inside as well because women like special things, I guess. So here you go. I'm not gonna fasten the strap fully. It covers, as you can see, uh, it covers, it, it has a pretty good coverage from side to side. And if I get the visor down, there you go. Maximum number of air vents. Now guys, you can win this helmet uh, from the giveaway. So make sure you stick till the end of this video. So that's the helmet. Now, what happens? Yes, obviously with every design, there's a, di there's a different challenge now because all these vents are not, uh, these are active vents. This is the only passive vent here, which can be open and closed. Uh, these are all active vents and active uh, exhaust ports as well. Uh, if it's going to be a monsoon or say you live in a colder climate of India, then you will need these, which are the covers. Now I'm gonna quickly open it. I don't know if, uh, you know, if you end up, I would say hang on to the bag because if you end up misplacing even one of these, then you might have to buy the whole set again. So I'm just gonna quickly open and see what, how it is and how easy it is to put it on. Literally opening it for the first time, you can see. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve rubber pieces. Plus, I think it's it's sort of a jigsaw puzzle now because do they have numbers? Oh, they have. They have markers, so this one says L, so this one goes on the left hand side. Wow, that was easy. That was so easy. First try. There you go. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, put all of these. Let's see how long it takes. One eternity later. Whew. Welcome back guys. So, I'll tell you, this is not my favorite part and uh, I have not been able to, I, I was obviously hurrying a little bit, so I've not been able to put some of these pieces properly. Some of them fit perfectly. And as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. Now the helmet is covered, but honestly speaking, I will not use these because the amount of time it took me to put them and uh, I'm sure if you have a younger brother who wants to play around and or a kid, just give it to them and they will do it. Probably end up breaking the helmet. But <laughs> so it's not my favorite feature. But anyways, guys, this is the helmet. Perfect for city commutes. Heck, if you want to go cycling, it's pretty lightweight. I can show you the weight is just 900 plus or minus given 20 grams. And this is the uh, extra large. Also, it's ISI rated. It doesn't have any other UN, uh, certification as such. You can see this cover is like, like it. When you put on these pieces, it just looks like a different beast altogether. But Overall guys, it's, it's a nice helmet. It doesn't cost much. This one is, Fuse is about 1239, men's version. And for women, you get Ella, which is 1289. Now, coming to the part. If you want to win this helmet, all you have to do is leave a comment and follow me on Instagram. 
also like this video and uh, comment letting me know what you think is the favorite part of this helmet or what do you think uh, can be improved because even Steelbird watches these videos and that's why they send me the elements for reviews so that the feedback is not only for them but also for the customer so all in all uh, from me I would say three and a half out of five for this helmet can be improved if these are just easier to put on that's it I would ride without them I also have my other regular helmets behind me which I use for my high speed rides and uh, when I'm out uh, with on Sunday morning rides so that's it don't wear cheap helmets make sure you get a nice ISA helmet and that's it guys I will see you in the next vlog until then phantom fam phantom rides out tonight, tonight.